money position management is key. Now, regardless of how much money you make, a thousand percent or ten thousand percent, a hundred percent loss will destroy your account. And last week I mentioned all these scumbags are out there, and uh, one of them was brave enough to actually put some returns out there, which I found kind of questionable. But I did notice that one of the months he had a 30% drawdown. And that's a pretty big drawdown for one month. But as you can see, it grows geometrically over time. So I don't know how much you got to recover from 30%, but it's, it's substantial. You probably have to make about 40 or 50%, or at least 40% to, to get back to break even. And you can see once you get to 50% losses, obviously you have to make back 100% just to get back to break even. Now, another thing with the money and position management is simple things like entries. I am shocked at how many times you could avoid a losing trade by simply waiting for an entry. So the entry on this one was right here and it never triggered and the stock imploded. And at the low, it was $1,285, and that's per 100K. So based on the model account of 100K, you would have lost $1,285 by just jumping in this trade willy-nilly as opposed to waiting for an entry, which never happened. And as I've said before many, many times, six months from now or whenever, somebody will email me and say, Dave, I'm, I'm down 80% and I turned you recommend, and I'm like, I would never recommend a stock like that. It's been going down for eight months. It's like, well, you recommended it last January. And I'm like, oh, okay. And then I go back and look at the trading service. Like, well, wait a minute. This thing never triggered. Now, the bottom line is, without getting heavily into money management, you must have minimum losses while allowing for unlimited gains and not just the opposite there's a lot of highly accurate systems and i almost kind of went into that rabbit hole a little bit tonight but the, there's a lot of highly accurate systems out there that make a little make a little make a little make a little and then they blow up okay and eckerd paraphrasing him once said that what feels good doesn't necessarily work longer term and when you are trading for these longer term trends you're trading for the swing trade remember and then you're taking a swing trade profit off and then you're sticking around to see what happens kind of like i did with that tia and the k and f that's where the real money is but you have to figure out a way to possibly make unlimited gains otherwise you're not going to pay for all this and you're not going to be successful so getting back to the K and F, you can see the stop was there and barring overnight gaps, obviously, that's the worst you could do. And that's a 2% risk on the entire account. And I'm working with one of you guys and you were doing well lately. And you're like, well, it might just be the markets. It's, he, he was smart enough to recognize that. And I said, yeah, but if you do want to raise your size, it's okay to raise your size a little bit and just recognize that the market conditions are helping you out. Go through the next drawdown when things get choppy and all, stay at that level. And then when things do well again, or whenever you think you're ready, then slowly up your share size again. But you can see right here, limited risk, take some profits just in case that's all you get, and then trail that stop higher and knock on wood. So far, so good. So there's the, this was as of yesterday. It's up a little bit more today. It's just, it's at brand new highs today, so about another point on that. Knock on wood, so far so good. So 63%, probably about 65 or 70% now. Okay, the question is, do you day still day trade or have you switched over to swing trading? Okay, I have always been slotted as a swing trader, but I'll actually hold positions as long as they move in my favor by taking those partial profits, like that K&F trade, for instance, if we could pull it up real quick. Yeah, so this is, would be the initial profit target. We take off half at that level, and then we trail the stop higher. Well, we actually trail the stop higher before that's hit, but just so you can understand how you're able to ride out a longer-term trend is you let this gradually loosen up. So today, I think it was up like $1.20, this K&F, and we only bumped the stop up a dollar. okay? 
So we let that stop open up a little bit. And that's adjusting to the longer term volatility of the market, both in time and then also because the price is going higher, your the point move, okay, is going to be larger. So you want to give it more and more room over time. And I hate to use the word hope, but hopefully you're with it for a long, long time. Now, as far as the day trading, I used to really preach against day trading, and I still do here and there. I do take some trades probably more than I should. I'm here all day, and especially in more recent years where I've I've gotten really busy, where like yesterday I had a presentation for stock charts. I'm occasionally on Final Bar. I had a show on, on stock charts for several years, and then we, we migrated over to be doing your daily five on uh, every other week or so, and then a bunch of other things. So there's a lot going on. So I'm pretty much, I hate to use the word stuck because I'm very happy to be here, but I'm pretty much stuck here. And so I've got all these screens and I don't know what, what the equivalent is. I've got a TV up here, which is probably a, maybe 40 inches. And then I've got half a dozen monitors. So in there, double size monitors. So each one is like two, what used to be a normal size monitor. So I'm here all day watching it. My ultimate goal is to do intraday trend trading. And I'll tell you this, if I let the market come to me, I could do really well with that. What kills me is trying to make money every day because it's really hard to pull money every day. But if you wait and pick your spots carefully and you wait for those route days and you look at the, the Holy Grail day thing I talked about a while back, uh, check out my YouTube quick clips on that. And my YouTube is at Dave Landry. Once you're at YouTube, it's it's uh, youtube.com slash Dave Landry or at Dave Landry would be the hashtag on that. So uh, yeah, I do probably do too much, <laughs> too much of the day trading.